hello friends welcome back to the session so guys today's session we will see how to view the web method code into html format okay so but obvious if you done with your code and if you are handling this particular code a particular pro language into a uh, test uh, like testing department ya qa environment you can say ya production environment okay so that a case you can cross verify this particular code is correct or not या पर्टिकुलर इनपुट डॉक्यूमेंट आउटपुट डॉक्यूमेंट नेमिंग कन्वेंशन अनवॉन्टेड फील्ड ड्रॉप और नॉट मैपिंग इज करेक्ट और नॉट एज पर द मैपिंग शीट एज पर द स्वैगर ओके सो इंटरनली एज यू अवेयर अबाउट ऑल दोज थिंग्स या ऑल दोज फ्लो लैंग्वेज इट विल स्टोर इन यो फ्लो डॉट एक्सेबल फॉर्मेट ओके सो लेट मी शो यू हाउ यू कैन सी दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्लो लैंग्वेज या पर्टिकुलर वेब मेथड कोड टू अ एस्टिमल फॉर्मेट so uh, let's suppose i open this service up in loop demo this is my service here you can see uh, this like uh, sequence is used map is used loop step is used here one service already used but we cannot able to see the everything here uh, in the format like what mapping is there what uh, naming convention is there or what hard coded values are there okay also you can see here the input and uh, input document is there and uh, output document is there so if you wanted to see this particular code in html format just open the particular service right click view as html and here you can see this particular things okay on a high level it is required because if you are creating a rfc document and here you can see the server details what server is used what package is used folder name service input input details service output output details also we can see at the flow overview what are the uh, like how many uh, total sequences you use map step is used loop step is used flow details you can see here step by step okay also if you did any kind of uh, mapping in the particular flow then you can check this s name map to c name s id map to c id s address map to c address also uh, one inbuilt service also used in this particular flow again some temporary document is used unwanted variable also used again if you hard coded anything in your flow language yeah, in your flow service this thing also you can see in this html format that's why this thing is required if you done with your code and if you uh, created your service if you wanted to check in your html format just uh, open this particular service like open this folder service right click and view as a click on view as a html form like view as a html so that you can uh, clearly check this particular naming convention is correct or not what are inbuilt services is use uh, it's correct or not mapping is correct or not unwanted variable uh, drop or not so let's suppose if you design your code and at the last stage uh, what like here you can see two list from atom temporary document already drop only candidate is uh, candidate document list is here okay so if you check your mapping and swagger yeah if you uh, receive any kind of rfc document from your team so you can cross verify all those things yeah only one document is uh, required at the end of the flow so that things we required that's why we can see this particular flow service into html format that up. so guys that's all about today's demonstration i hope you like and enjoy this session so if you are new in my channel so please like share and subscribe also hit the uh, notify button so that you can get more from the uh, my channel and also you can never uh, miss update uh, from this channel so please hit the bell icon as well thank you so much have a great day